Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva on day three of this summit. And I'm joined now by Bilal Jamusi, who's the chief of the study groups for the ITU himself. Hello. Good morning. Um, basically, one thing you've been focusing on is the three AI focus groups. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. So um, the, the focus group is a group that allows open, is an open platform that allows the ITU members and uh, newcomers to the ITU to um, uh, sort of ha have an incubation phase for new standards. Um, last year at this summit, AI for Good Summit, we had a track on AI for, on health and well-being. And uh, at the end of the day, it was clear that there is ne a need for a, a platform where all the stakeholders, both healthcare providers and technologists, to come together and discuss how uh, artificial intelligence could be used for healthcare. Um, you know, all these applications that uh, could be provided to provide diagnostics, for example, the machine learning that goes behind it. Um, and so the WHO, the World Health Organization, and the ITU got together and through one of our study groups created this focus group on AI for health. Um, and they're looking at benchmarking some of the algorithms that um, would be used for uh, AI for health, for diagnosis, for, uh, uh, for, uh, for treatment, for clinical uh, t uh, trials. Um, and uh, the idea is to look at data sets, because when we talk about AI, it's really two components. There are data sets and the algorithms. Uh, and uh, this focus group is looking at uh, having enough data sets that are annotated, uh, that are usable for uh, really telling whether the algorithm is working or not. Um, another focus group that we have um, is using machine learning for 5G. And this year is the year of 5G. Uh, we will have a ra world radio conference at the end of the year to decide on spectrum use for 5G. And as you know, the, the 5G network is a, is, a, is a lot more sophisticated than the 4G network. Um, it has capability not just for more speed, but also for massive connectivity of the Internet of Things and it also has a requirement for low latency. And so the core of the network, where the ITU plays a role in defining the standard, is more flexible, more programmable. And with that flexibility and programmability, uh, the complexity increases. And so having real-time machine learning and AI algorithms that help the operator in, in managing the network is a necessity. And so we have a focus group on the use of machine learning for 5G networks. And the uh, third focus group we have is uh, just created a few weeks ago by the study group in ITU that looks after energy efficiency, the environment, and the circular economy uh, to look at the um, energy impact of using AI, machine learning, uh, all these data centers that, uh, that need to be put in place and, and are being used for processing that data. Uh, so they're looking at the environmental impact of AI, machine learning, blockchain, all of these emerging technologies. And at the same time, looking at how AI and machine learning could be used in combating the climate change and uh, dealing with the uh, issues of, of, of climate change and, uh, and the environment. Mm -hmm. But um, even though you come up with the standards and all countries are members of the ITU, well, do they accept it? I mean, can some say, no, we don't like these regulations? How do you impose it, I guess? We don't really impose any of the standards. All of the ITU standards are voluntary. And they are developed by the membership, not by the staff of the ITU. Uh, and our membership is the 193 member states. We have about 800 companies, private sector uh, players, including SMEs, small and medium enterprises, uh, and academia, about 150 universities uh, and research institutes. It is them and the experts from that uh, incredible uh, multi-stakeholder platform. They provide the technical uh, solutions and they provide the algorithms and protocols and so on. And they also decide uh, and agree on the best standard that could be used by the world. Uh, and then once the recommendation, the international standard is agreed uh, by consensus, then uh, all the member states could decide to make it a national law or a national standard or simply implement it you know, and have it in RFPs when you're procuring new solutions, you make a reference to the ITU standard. So it's a, it's a voluntary platform, uh, it's consensus-based, and it's driven by the membership. Dan, just finally, um, as we kind of approach towards the end of the week, 
What's your thoughts on this summit so far? It's really incredible. It's fascinating where we started two years ago and when, where we are today, the exponential growth in, mem in participation, in the quality of the presentations, um, in the impact and the, the, the participation, the inclusiveness. We have 37 UN agencies uh, participating. Uh, we have uh, pretty much all the world uh, represented in, in this uh, event. Uh, we even have several ministers that came, took the time from their uh, you know, busy schedule and came to take part and, and also convey the message of the importance of AI and the fact that uh, it has to be inclusive so that we don't have a wider gap in the digital economy. We, we can bridge the gap by uh, having the, the required skill sets and, and the, uh, uh, you know, the right people and, and the right strategies at, at the national level to be ready for machine learning and for AI, to have the data centers, to curate the data, uh, to include this in the curriculum in universities. Um, so we, we are very pleased uh, from, as an ITU to, to see this growth to see the inclusiveness in the conference and to see that many of these topics are finding their way in our study groups, in our standards making uh, engine in the ITU to, uh, to make this really usable uh, by regulators, by companies, by private sector, uh, by policy makers. Um, and so we're very pleased with the, with the outcome. Okay. Well, that was Bila Jamusi from the ITU talking to us about standardization and where the focus group's going. Thank you very much. Thank you.